effect of heat on minerals. Now whenever we're going to heat something, obviously I need the trusted Bunsen burner. So I bring my Bunsen burner out here. I'll give it a quick light. Remember, once you've lighted it, always turn it to a yellow flame so it's, you can easily see it. What we're going to do is we're going to heat up, firstly, some calcium carbonate. I've put some calcium carbonate here inside a test tube already. I'm just going to put a delivery tube on top of it, like so. Get my thong so that I can hold it safely, clamp it in there. Now, as I heat this up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to test it. Just turn this back to a solid blue flame. There we go. Now, we're going to heat this up and we're going to test it to see if any gas or any bubble comes out. So I'm going to deliver this into some, as you can see, we get some gas coming out. Now, if we're getting some gas coming out, and this gas is being tested in lime water. Now, do you all remember what I used lime water for? We use lime water to test for the presence of carbon dioxide. So as this is coming out, we get the bubbles and you might notice that inside my lime water, I'm getting some white particles floating around, which means that my lime water is uh, sort of slowly changing and becoming a bit cloudy or milky. And this would indicate to me that the gas coming out is carbon dioxide gas. Okay, I think that will do. So we're going to stop this now. I'll just put this down. I'll put this back over here, safely out of harm's way. And I'll just uh, turn this to a yellow flame for a moment because we're going to use that in a moment again. So what did we find is when we heated this up, um, I got a gas coming out. So the, what the gas is basically is uh, it's calcium carbonate coming out. I'll just turn this off. Yeah, there we go. So when we decompose or we heat up calcium carbonate, what happens is carbonates decompose to form carbon dioxide gas and metal oxide. So when you heat up carbonates, they break down and they form into carbon dioxide and the metal oxide. Most carbonates break down. But remember the potassium and the sodium that I was talking to you about earlier they are slightly different. Sodium and potassium carbonates do not decompose because they are very stable. All other carbonates decompose when you heat them. Sodium and potassium do not. Now you might be a bit confused with this word decompose. Decompose just means break apart. Okay? So remember, most carbonates decompose when you heat them up Sodium and potassium do not because they're very stable.